Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerviews.com. Tonight we have a very cool beer um, called Hoptopus. Um, it's a double IPA from uh, Reaver Beach Brewing Company out of Virginia Beach, uh, Virginia. Um, never seen this before. Came in a four pack in these uh, 16 ounce cans. They've been around since 2010. Pretty cool story on the website to talk a little bit about, um, you know, kind of what they were looking for to, to brew beers. Um, their uh, logo has a hop and a Jolly Roger kind of on the top of it right here. I know it's hard to see. Um, Hoptopus is obviously, hence the Virginia Beach locale of the um, octopus. Um, this is a, um, again, a double IPA. ABVs are 8.8% .8 and IBUs are 108 which is why I bought it. Um, I bought it for the name, and I bought it for the IBUs of 108. And that is something that I am I, I strive to learn more about uh, in my craft beer uh, learning curve, which has been for many years. But according to most uh, train of thoughts, your palate can't recognize about above 80, maybe 90, but 108 is pretty much insane here. So. Um, it says here, the Hoptopus is an eight-legged freak of a double IPA. West Coast style boasts intense bitterness and grape, grapefruit-like characteristics throughout. Hop heads rejoice. So, again, very cool label. Good, um, good marketing. I like that stuff a lot. So, um, I already kind of gave you the whole gist. It's available year-round. Like I said, it came in a four-pack. I think the four-pack was around... 14 or 15 dollars it wasn't cheap but again this is supposed to be one of their kind of flagship uh, beers so looking at the glass here i realized the lighting isn't great it's a little cloudy um not nearly as cloudy as some of the other beers we've had recently um nice thick uh white hat on it okay now see this is what i struggle with some of these beers where they boast 108 ibus this tastes to me like malt, grain, kind of like a light lager, almost like a domestic, what I would call macro beer. The aroma is almost non-existent. Um, if you watch some other beer reviews, I call this a wet paper towel. It's just kind of bland. There's a little bit of grapefruit there, but man, you have to really kind of struggle to get it out of there. It's just kind of got this residual kind of just almost nothing. Uh, the aroma's hurting. All right, so um, we don't drink beer because of the aroma. We drink beer because of the flavor. So cheers. Let's hope it's much better. Wow. Um, that's not good. It's, um, there's nothing to this. Um, I'm struggling to find what value there is in this beer. Um, there's a teeny tiny bit of fruit representation would be the word I would use. It's very subtle. It's got this kind of grain weedy type background to it that's just hard to swallow. I can't even tell what hops are in here. They don't tell you on the website, but I'm guessing maybe Galaxy, Simcoe, and Centennial, which are all kind of a little bit on the harsher side. God. That's... <laughs> Alright, so... These are the beer reviews that I learned from. So I would never buy this again. Um, I was highly looking forward to this because, again, great marketing, great story. Um, but again, we do these beer reviews because we don't want you to waste your money on something. This is a waste of money. This is not good. Um, the flavor, I can't even... I can't even pinpoint to tell you what it tastes like other than it's kind of like a it's like a piece of bread gone bad um, and spoiled uh, it's just not good
good. I don't know how else to say it. But the double IPAs are hard to brew correctly, especially if you're going to boast 108 IBUs. You're, you're mixing a lot of different hops in there to blend together and make something happen, and it did not happen. Not even close in this beer. Um, I rate my beer between 1 and 5. This is probably one of the worst I've had all year. I'd be lucky to give this a 1. I won't finish it. I took three sips to try to give it a chance, and it is just, it's like a, it's like a, a beer gone wrong would be the way I would describe this. So, again, uh, we do this because we love craft beer, and we want to give thanks to the breweries that do things correctly, and this is not one that hit the, the nail on the head at all. Uh, leave comments if you tried it, please. We'd love to hear your reactions on our YouTube channel and our website. We appreciate you watching. And as always, we will see you again real soon. Cheers.